Hello, this is the ninth and last video in a series of videos on the subject of clubfoot and clubfoot correction. We covered a number of topics, but one of the topics is very important, and that has to do with the mechanical nature of the Ponsetti method. It focuses on the architecture of the foot, which revolves around the talus, which is a central bone in the top of the midfoot, and the navicular, which is the bone immediately adjacent to the talus. So this is the navicular and this is the talus, and the objective of the Ponsetti correction method is to reduce a dislocated navicular over and on top of the talus. That's the objective. And the method for this is first the correction of cavus by supination rather than straight abduction. So first supination to reduce the navicular on top of the, the talus and then gradual abduction with gradual flattening of the foot, reduction of supination, so that the final outcome is a normal, normal appearing foot. What's important in all of this is to make sure that by manipulation before casting and by stretching and holding while casting, the important objective is to achieve and maintain reduced positions. In order to do that, it's important that the foot be relaxed. And it's important not to rush the process. One of the big mistakes that doctors often make is they move too quickly. Instead, they should be patient. They should relax the child and gently manipulate the bones of the feet so that in a relaxed position the foot changes from this dislocated navicular to a reduced navicular and in this position the foot is then cast. The important thing is to make sure that the position is never lost. You never reduce it and then let go of it and then try to find it again. You must always hold it in the position that you want to immobilize. And in that corrected position, you cast without any movement. By doing that, you will ensure a good correction on the foot. That is the summary of the process of mechanical correction of bones that are in the wrong position. It is important to be patient. It is important to make sure that the foot is relaxed. It is important to manipulate and then to stretch and hold before you cast. If you do all of those things, then your chances for a good outcome in the correction of a crooked foot will be vastly improved. Thank you so much for your attention to these videos.